Yes, welcome back to Sports Show. Of course, it was a big weekend last weekend. Last Friday night, they had the All Star game on for the. Uh, what would you. You really want to call it for the best kids playing in the state at the moment, don't you? Yeah. Any risk involved in that, do you think? You know, a one off game to show what you've got? Yeah. Having a shocker. For the AFL. Yeah, having a shocker. <laughs> having a shocker. Well, Not one that bloke that didn't, one, have one, didn't have a shocker, of course, Luke Edwards didn't have a shocker, and Tony Banfield, <laughs> the coach, was there as well. So thanks for coming in, fellas. Appreciate your time. No, thanks so Maybe we'll start with you, Tony. I mean, you've been there three years now, mate, as the academy coach. This year was an unbelievably difficult year with COVID, mate. How did you transition through that period? Yeah, things um, turned pear shaped big time in March when uh, when COVID hit. Not just our, not just South Australia, but all of Australia. Um, initially, our our, our um, focus was on the welfare of the players and the shock to their system, and how we'd manage them through Year Twelve studies and or university studies or employment. But to the the players' credit, they they handled that period really really well. We tried to maintain contact on a weekly basis with as many players as we could, just to check in with them and their SNFL clubs, but. Um, our guys were quite lucky that they were, they were able to get back to training at the Sandfield Clubs much earlier than other states in Australia. So our guys can't really complain because they got a, pretty much a full season in, in the end. Yeah, the Vicks certainly didn't get that. I, just for the viewers, explain how the academy knits in with the SNFL clubs as well. Yeah, well, we can't have the academy without the contribution that the Sandfield Clubs make, um, not just at under-18 level, but starting from under-13s right through the development squad programs through the 16s and 18s program. We're, we're lucky enough to, for where I sit, just pick the, 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 um, the best players out from every club and, and put them through a program. Um, normally, well, Luke started in, in late November last year in the AFL Hub program, and he would have carried through that program right through to the end of the Nationals in July. So it's a significant um, uh, period of program that goes across about nine months. Um, but like I said, the, the Sample Clubs um, do a, a wonderful job in those 13 to 18 years age brackets, which um, you know makes us pick up some really good players along the way. Yeah. What, what happens with the draft now? This is confusing. It's going to be a difficult time because we don't know list sizes with AFL clubs at the moment. We, we don't know what's going on. So the, 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 the kids, the young fellas, the under 18s and whatever, they're going to be in a, that limbo sort of... Uh, are you finding that? They don't know what's going on? Uh, yeah, there's still a bit of uncertainty around um, how many selections there will be in this national draft, and I think it's Dece December 7 from memory. Mm. Um, but we can't control that, and these guys can't worry about that. All they've got to do is prepare themselves as best they can um, for that draft date if it happens. If yeah. it doesn't happen, they've got to go to Plan B, which they've all worked on as well. So okay. for you, Luke, coming in, mate, you, you, no one sees COVID coming. You're kind of pretty much mapped out where you're going to be the next couple of years and how that's travelling. What happened to you when COVID came? Mate, did you adjust quickly or it took a while? Yeah. Yeah, it was, a, it was a shock for sure. Um, but no, nah, I was lucky enough to have a, a brother, Jackson, who experienced the same thing. So me and him, who both lived together, experienced the same thing. So we both went through it together. Um, it was a bit weird because we did one pre-season before that November sort of phase. And then we come back after Chrissy, done another pre-season full of training and getting ready to play. Then we have to stop really. Um, it was a bit of a shock, but yeah, that's just how it goes. You just got to deal with it and, and move on. Yeah. Hey mate, tell us about the All-Star game. Was it a thought in your mind? Because I, I remember reading an article that some players and some of the managers were saying that it wasn't fair for the players to play it because if they had a shocker, they might get judged on that. But I reckon the recruiting officers pretty much know who's good and who's not. So it was just how did you approach the game? Yeah, I think um, crews have watched enough footy over the last... They've probably watched it for the last year, two years now. So I think after if you play one bad game, it won't necessarily matter. Um, just go out there, have fun, enjoy it. It sort of replaces our little state champs that we usually have. So no, it, was, it was good to catch up with everyone again if you haven't seen them for a little while. So um, no, I quite enjoyed it. I had a bit of fun. Um, unfortunately, my team lost, so it wasn't as good. But no, it was still good fun. It's not something you think about all the time, though, the draft. And once you run over that white line, you, you're, not thinking, you're not thinking draft. You're thinking what he's told you to do or your coaches or whatever. Or you're going to play. Where do you play, mate? What position do you play? Uh, mate, a little bit through the mid and down back, so half okay. back. Okay, you, you'd be thinking about your job, basically, once you run over the white line, don't you? Yeah. So that all-star game, I don't know what, I, I don't agree with the manager saying, don't throw your lad into that, because, you know, I mean, it's one oh, game. Oh, I agree, before, so that's what I'm saying. The recruiters know, have seen him enough, and Luke made the point. That's so. right, and once yeah. they run over the white line, they're not thinking about, uh, you know, there, there's an AFL guy sitting up in the, in the grandstand or whatever, you're just thinking about getting a kick, or doing your job. I, I, I'm pretty sure that would be the case with 
the whole 20, 22, no problem at all. Hey, hey Tone, is that a, an interesting one to juggle? Because the players do want to play really well when they get the opportunity, you know, and so there's egos in the room and you're trying to get them to play roles. How, how difficult for you as a coach to get them back to go, just focus on playing good footy? Yeah, you make a good point about whether it's worthwhile. And we wouldn't normally run this All-Stars game at this stage of the year, but we, because of the COVID There's situation, no it was a last chance to, to, for the recruiters to see these players play. Um, but we just spoke to the players about playing your role, as you mentioned before, know what you're responsible for and do that job as best you can and then go out of your way to make life easy for a teammate. And that's pretty much the, all the instructions we gave the players and then just let them play. Um, the recruiters have watched these boys since the age of 15 and a half. Mm -hmm. So one good or bad game at the end of the season isn't going to make or break their career. Mate, it, it, your, your career's been an interesting one, mate. You, you're a football head. That, that's what I call you. you, you, you since the first time you landed at Port Adelaide, you were always going to be a coach. You are always going to be part of the system, uh, the football system. Is that something that you've just wanted to do all your life or is it something you just fell into? Uh, Which I don't think it is. I yeah, no, I obviously have a strong interest in football. It wasn't until Steve Williams um, invited me into the coach's box when I was injured during playing a few times and I quite enjoyed what mm. was going on inside the box. So I initially wanted to be a school teacher mm. um, but went down the, the football admin and talent manager pathway and then the coaching pathway when I finished playing and I'm um, really glad that I did. I love it. Mm. So yeah. Luke, what's next for you, mate? Where, where does the next card fall for you? Um, well, obviously the draft's coming up in about a month time, but this stage I'll have a little break, probably have a week off and then get stuck back into training again, doing a bit of gym and running again. Um, Pre-season starts pretty soon for Glenelg, so got to get in shape for that. Um, but now, yeah, just a waiting game. Um, just trying to work as hard as I can, do all things right, um, and hope for the best. But, yeah. So much of a break. No, four weeks, not a lot. Hey. Tony, you get a lot of calls now at this period from the recruiters and the coaches, and is your phone run white hot now as opposed to... Yeah, you know, very much. I've just yep. finished a one-and-a-half-hour Zoom meeting with Hawthorne. Yep. Gold Coast yesterday, Hawthorne, sorry, this morning, then Sydney tomorrow, West Coast Eagles tomorrow. So, yeah, there's a lot of that going on at the moment. Um, they're all trying to, I guess, cross the T's and dot the I's for the last little check-in for the players' review before they put together their draft list. It's an interesting time. It, it, it's a great time. Yeah, look, I, I really feel for the players. The I feel more for Luke and, yeah. and, and the family because they're sitting there. You don't know because you really don't have much insight into where it's going to go, do you? No, nah, you've got no yeah. idea. They don't really tell you a whole lot. Yeah, um, yeah it's just a waiting game. Hopefully it goes your way on draft night. Yeah. <laughs> well, four weeks' time, you'll have an answer. I really appreciate you coming in, boys. And glad the All-Star right. game went well. I think it was a terrific concept on the back of COVID stopping the state champs. Stay with us. Still, more to come.